I've got a scar just above my left eye, which I got when I was about three years old uh, in a bedsit. My grandmother opened the door and hit me with the front of the lock. It happened and I got hit by a car. Being a boy, I suppose, I was kind of thought it was quite cool. It never really worried me. I'm quite proud of my scar. It's cool. And the village cop had a big Alsatian dog and he started barking at my mum. So I thought, look, he was going to bite my mum. So I threw a brick at it and the dog attacked me and bit me in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, is it? Really? <laughs> I get questioned a lot about that when I go out. People are often like, did you do that yourself? It was a triangular bit of glass that went sliced through my arm. It's definitely changed the way people are with me. People look at you differently. People looked at me all the time, adults and children, always looking, always looking at you. If you have a massive scar on your face or you have a massive scar on your arm or your leg, Everybody stares, and tattoos in that respect are similar. I definitely think that with a tattoo there's a story behind it, like, like a scar. He punched me, I fell over, hit my head on the floor, woke up and had half my skull missing, half my head missing. So this is all titanium now. To me, I think that's, really, that's something really horrible to live with, because everyone stares at that. It's like the tattoos I've got, it's, they're there, it's there for life, and. It's got a story behind it. Every single tattoo I've got, I can remember the day that I got it, I can remember why I got it, where I got it, everything, because it's like a scar, there is a massive memory behind a tattoo. But with tattoos, you choose to scar yourself. Scars are different because you almost don't choose to have your scar because most scars happen by accident. Um, some are intentional, but that's a whole different other story. I was um, in, in a nightclub and this guy at the bar said to me, are you OK? I said, no, no, I'm absolutely fine. And then I said, what are you getting at? Like, what, what, what are you doing? And, you know, self-harming to that extent. I was like, right, OK, cool. <laughs> I was like, really, people think I've butchered myself. People automatically assume the worst. That's one thing I don't like. Little children, you can understand, but... Grown people, you don't want grown people just staring at you and walking past and then looking over their shoulder to have a real good look. It's not good. I was angry for about nine, ten months after it happened, but I'm not bothered. What, what happens in life happens. Things, things happen and that's all there is to it. It took time to get Back to where I was, but now I'm over it. It's, it's done, it's done, it's history.